Did you know that the global military spends about $1.7 trillion on their weapons every year? Without a doubt, the world needs peace and friendly relations between nations. But when armed conflict arises, various military branches go into action. And as the world watches the Russia-Ukraine conflict, which has been going on for more than seven months, there have been reports of both sides, most notably Russia, using the newest, most unique weapons. This has caught the interest of the general public in learning about the most technological weapons as well as the most powerful armed forces and their firepower. That's why at Tech Groupies we have compiled for you a list of the 12 most powerful and techie military weapons ever used. Ranging from submarines that can launch weapons faster than sound to missile systems that work perfectly well even in Arctic regions, the list will leave you absolutely mind blown. Let's start with the M2, which is a heavy machine gun and is one of the Army's best weapons. It was created by John Browning toward the end of World War I and was first used by the American military in 1933. Since then, countless wars have seen the M2 in action, and it has proven to be an incredibly effective weapon. It is very lethal against helicopters, boats, unarmored or lightly armored vehicles, and ground troops. Additionally, this heavy machine gun has a firepower that is more comparable to a small cannon. The M2, despite being more than 80 years old, is still used by many, if not all, the armed forces. Next up is the rocket-propelled grenade, or RPG, a shoulder-launched missile weapon that fires rockets with explosive warheads. The majority of RPGs are small enough for one soldier to carry and frequently used as anti-tank weapons. Because of how simple it is to use, how inexpensive the launchers are to make and maintain, and how effective it is, over 40 nations around the world now have these in their arsenal. It is used against infantry formations, as well as heavily fortified and armored targets. This artillery was used in a variety of conflicts and wars in the latter half of the 20th century and was constantly improved. Let's now take to the skies with the best weapon in the U.S. Army's arsenal, the AH-64 Apache. It may seem strange that an aircraft is the best land force weapon, but air power has been the most decisive factor in recent conflicts fought by the United States military. This dangerous chopper is equipped with a 30 millimeter cannon, Hellfire missiles, and cutting edge sensors. It also has the firepower, speed, and range to strike enemies long before they come into contact with U.S. ground troops. The AH-64 Apache and its variations will probably continue to be the most important factor on the battlefield for a very long time. You've heard the saying, the bigger the gun, the bigger the bullet. This is especially true of the gigantic Schwerer Gustav Nazi railway gun. Both in terms of its overall weight and the weight of the shells it could fire, it was the heaviest mobile artillery weapon ever made. It was also the biggest piece of artillery ever used in battle. The Schwerer Gustav was a massive display of weaponry, with a mass of more than 1,300 tons, a height of just over 38 feet, a barrel that was more than 106 feet long, a width wider than 23 feet, and a total length of more than 155 feet. A Schwerer Gustav shell has a maximum range of 51,000 yards and could accurately destroy a target at 43,000 yards away. While this weapon took far too long to build, it ultimately served no purpose. However, this does not mean it was never used, and it also doesn't lessen how incredible it is in every negative way. Another powerful military weapon is the Tsar Bomb, undeniably the world's most powerful weapon, and thankfully no longer in use. The bomb, which was created in 1961 during the Cold War, is thought to have been the most powerful and dangerous weapon of mass destruction. According to reports, it was also the most powerful man-made explosion ever recorded. For context, it was 3,800 times stronger than the U.S. nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. The bomb test was conducted at the end of October 1960, and the explosion took place in northern Russia, far away from any populated areas. It reportedly exploded about four kilometers above the ground and sent up a mushroom cloud that reached a height of 60 kilometers. The blast had a total destruction radius of about 35 kilometers and was so intense that witnesses claim to have seen it light up to a thousand kilometers away. Let's now take a look at the M109A6 Paladin, which is a modernized version of the esteemed M109 self-propelled howitzer. In the early 1960s, the U.S. Army adopted the original M109, which made its combat debut in the Vietnam War. 
This powerful artillery system fires 155 millimeter projectiles and can reach targets up to 30 kilometers away using a rocket-assisted projectile. The Paladin can also discharge Excalibur rounds that are GPS or laser-guided. Even though it's one of the deadliest weapons, the artillery system is rarely used in battle nowadays. Next up is the FOAB, the father of all bombs. Does that give you an idea of what this weapon is about? It weighs 7,100 kilograms and was dropped on the test range by the TU-160 Strategic Bomber. General Alexander Rukshkin, Deputy Chief of Staff of the Russian Armed Forces, stated that this is the world's strongest vacuum bomb and that the results of tests show that its efficiency and strength correspond to nuclear weapons, but that their use does not pollute the environment. Due to its pressure wave and blast, it has an effect that is comparable to a small nuclear weapon, but on a lower scale. A supersonic shockwave and extremely high temperatures are triggered when the bomb explodes midair. Also, the blast waves produced by thermobaric weapons are more intense, longer lasting, and more sustained than those from conventional explosives. As a result, they deal more damage over a larger area than conventional weapons of the same size. They also generate more energy than usual, which makes them harder to control. The BGM-71 Toe another powerful military weapon on our list. Even though the Russians appear to be the undisputed king of anti-tank missiles, it is easy to overlook the fact that the United States is also not lacking. After more than 50 years of use, the TOW anti-tank gutted missile is still going strong and has established itself as a highly effective weapon. The TOW missiles are typically used by separate anti-tank companies for heavy anti-armor work. But once this missile strikes, it can take out even the most well-defended enemy tanks. Many U.S. Army vehicles, including the HMMWV M2 and M3 Bradleys, are equipped to transport these missiles. And just like many weapons out there, new versions of this anti-tank guided missile are constantly being developed. Another impressive system is the S-400 Triumph. Let's check out this long-range surface-to-air missile system produced by Almaz Anti. This machine has the ability to engage aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles at their terminal stages. It is the successor to the S-200 and S-300 and the fourth generation of Russian long-range SAMs. The S-400's mission set and capabilities are comparable to those of the American Patriot system in most aspects. However, it does not currently use hit-to-kill ballistic missile defense technology, unlike some Patriot interceptors. Since going into service, the S-400 has been deployed in a number of high-profile situations to replace the S-300s that were already operational in a number of crucial locations. Notably, S-400 units are currently stationed in Kilingrad, a Russian enclave where they guard against aerial attack against Russia's sizable military presence. Moving on to one of the best battle tanks in the world, the M1A2 system enhancement package. This is the most recent upgrade to the older Abrams tanks, featuring better armor and several other upgrades. Its depleted uranium armor and advanced technology are amazing. And thanks to its ingenious gas turbine engine, this tank can travel at a top speed of almost 70 kilometers per hour, despite weighing over 60 tons. Its lethal 120 millimeter gun has a devastating punch and can destroy tanks like the Chinese Type 99 and the Russian T-90. The Abrams tank is a powerful piece of equipment that serves as the backbone of the American Armored Forces and is expected to be in use by them well past 2050. Now let's take a look at the world's deadliest machine gun, the GPMG. The general purpose machine gun has been the go-to weapon for the military for nearly 60 years and is still in use today. It is most frequently used mounted on vehicles, choppers, boats, and stationary places like sentry posts. Once mounted, it requires two people to operate, one to fire the weapon and make adjustments, and the other to load the ammunition belts and swap out the barrels. It can also be carried in the light support role, while the user wears a carrying shoulder strap. However, only extremely strong people can try this one. And last but not least on our list is the Ohio-class submarine. These submarines, which were created and produced by Electric Boat, are without a doubt the most powerful vessels to have ever been launched. Each of the 170-meter-long ships can hold 24 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which, depending on the load, can be launched from underwater and strike targets more than 7,000 miles away. In other words, a full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in under a minute, could unleash up to 192 nuclear warheads and completely destroy 24 cities. This is one shocking weapon. This is Tech Groupies, and we hope you enjoyed our list of the most powerful military weapons. For more amazing videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell.
See you next time.